pre-commissioning or commissioning activities. What are the things to be checked carefully during pre-commissioning or commissioning activities for instrument engineer? Before a plant or facility is handed over for normal operation, it should be inspected, checked, cleaned, flushed, verified and tested. This process is called commissioning and involves both the contractor and operator of a facility. Correct commissioning is vital to the satisfactory operation of any plant or facility. A schedule must be established with benchmarks and monitoring activities in order to keep track of progress. Instrumentation commissioning takes place when mechanical completion is completed for a system or a part of a system. Commissioning can be divided into three main activities. Commissioning preparation. Commissioning execution. Commissioning documentation and handover to operation. Commissioning preparation. Commissioning preparation required to maintain two types of records. Valves and equipment flow direction correct. Orifice plates installed check plate tab and its description. All instruments hooked up. 2. Instrument installation and inspection installation check. Check the instrument against the data sheet. Check CE marking. Check calibration certificates. Installation check. Leakage test. Flushing carried out. Few example checklists. Transmitter leak checklist. Process switches checklist. Bed controller checklist. PLC digital input checklist. Instrument installation checklist. Commissioning execution, calibration and testing of instruments prior to installation. Visual inspection for complete and correct installation. Insulation and continuity testing of cables. Cleaning, flushing, pressure and leak testing of pneumatic. Adjustment of control, alarm and shutdown settings. Loop testing. Function testing of control systems. Function testing of field instruments. Punch point list for field instruments. Area completion. Commissioning documentation preparation and handover. Following are the documentation is prepared before the startup or at the end of commissioning and to be handed over once the commissioning process has been completed. Engineering documentation. Cable diagrams slash schedules. Instrument indexes, system and marshalling cabinet cable schedules and junction box cable schedules, vendor lists, vendor manuals including all vendor documents slash drawings, contractor commissioning and startup plans, CSU, and operating manuals, commissioning spears lists, valve lists, cause and effects charts. Trip register slash schedule, system P and IDs, punch points list, final documents for commissioning. After the successful completion of all pre commissioning activities, the following list of final documents should be available readily for the commissioning activities system P and IDs, decontamination procedure and isolation register, system cleaning procedures. Hazard study and actions. Equipment check sheets. Off and on site checks. System punch lists. Action upon alarm sheet. System P and IDs. Decontamination procedure and isolation register. System cleaning procedures. Hazard study and actions. Equipment check sheets. Off and on site checks. System punch lists. Action upon alarm sheet. Instrument check sheet. Motor check sheet, interlock check procedures, emergency shutdown system check procedures, DCS sequence test procedures, relief stream check sheets, critical insulation checks, critical gasket installation checks, lubrication check sheet, PSSR, plant checkout prior to the introduction of hazardous chemicals, documentation requirements for ongoing maintenance group. 
authority to introduce process cam, commissioning procedures, standard operating procedures, commissioning to plant handover certificate.